Hi, this is Mechi from the Institute for Infocom Research, ASTAR Singapore. Together with my co-authors, we would like to present our work on combined CNN transformer encoder for enhanced fine-grained human action recognition. In this presentation, we will first introduce fine-grained action recognition, followed by a brief overview of related works. Then we will present our proposed CNN transformer frameworks on 3D vision encoder and video text cross encoder, followed by our experimental results and conclusion. Recognizing actions in video is fundamental and important for video understanding. Action classes in coarse brain datasets such as Kinetics 400 generally has strong cue on scene and object information, which can be easily recognized using frame-based approach. On the other hand, fine-grained datasets such as FineGym has similar appearances of action and background, where the interclass deviations are smaller. It relies more on temporal reasoning in order to recognize the fine-grained subtle differences. In video action recognition, CNN has been the norm for backbone architecture which learns local discriminative visual features by convolution within a small neighborhood. Transformer-based models partition frame into smaller non-overlap patches to form token representations and learn semantics by applying self-attention to capture global dependencies among tokens. Motivated by the advantages of CNN and Transformer, we propose to investigate two encoder frameworks to enhance fine-grained action recognition. The first framework introduced Transformer encoder on a vision backbone to learn discriminative features and latent semantics among the primitive actions, which we call a 3D vision encoder framework. The second framework aims to exploit additional text modality and learn cross-associations between visual and text semantics in fine-grained actions, which is called a video text cross-encoder framework. The architecture of our 3D vision encoder is shown here. Given a sequence of video frames, we extract visual features from a pre-trained CNN network. The features are spatial pooled and projected to an embedding space. The embedded features are then passed to a transformer encoder to learn correspondences among tokens. Finally, the encoded outputs are fed to a linear layer for fine-grained action recognition. Our second architecture for video text cross encoder is shown here. For text modality, a set of attribute text with semantic context are extracted from the dataset as token representation for embedding. For video modality, features are extracted from pre-trained vision model and spatial pool for embedding. Both visual and text embedding features are concatenated and embedded to pass to the cross-transformer encoder. The encoded outputs for each modality are then pooled and concatenated for action classification. Now, we present our experimental results on the fine gym dataset. We adopt slow only ResNet 50 as our visual backbone and we train on fine gym. In the first table, it is shown that both our 3D vision encoders with single and three hidden layers improve accuracy over the baseline model, showing that the transformer encoder is effective in learning better temporal semantics. In the second table, we observe significant improvements over the baseline model. This shows that our visual text cross dependencies learns better semantics and complementary representations in fine-grained actions. This table shows the comparison with existing state-of-the-art performance. Our 3D vision encoder shows significant improvements over existing CNN-based models with RGB and full-screen inputs while our video text cross encoder outperforms state-of-the-art VPN that utilizes RGB and text inputs in GIM99 and GIM288. In conclusion, we propose two encoder frameworks that combine CNN and Transformer to improve fine-grained action recognition. For future work, 
he planned to investigate integrated CNN and transformer module designs and different cross-encoding configurations. Thank you.